Boris Johnson has made completely unacceptable comments about Muslim women and gay men, his Scottish leader has admitted. Jackson Carlaw criticised the Prime Minister's controversial record on the STV leaders' debate after being challenged by Liberal Democrat Willie Rennie. The same debate saw Nicola Sturgeon refuse four times to apologise for declines in health and education under the SNP after being told she should be ashamed. Mr Johnson was widely criticised last year after he referred to Muslim women wearing the burqa as looking like letterboxes and bank robbers in a newspaper article. Mr. Johnson downplays many of his past comments as being taken out of context. However Mr. Carlo said he had told the Prime Minister to his face they were wrong. In a cross-examination section of the debate, Mr. Rennie questioned Mr. Carlo about the Prime Minister's character, and asked if he was happy to be in the same team as a leader backed by Donald Trump, Nigel Farage, and Tommy Robinson. Mr. Carlo said, I am happy to support the Prime Minister who has been straight in his dealings with me. When he became Prime Minister, I sat down with him in Downing Street and I said to him that he had said things before that I could not support and thought were unacceptable, but I would judge him by what he did as Prime Minister, not what he said before he became Prime Minister. The Scottish Lib Dem leader said, You've referred to some of the remarks he's made in the past, and you seem to be prepared to pass them by. But he compared Muslim women to letterboxes. He said that gay men were tank-topped bumboys. Mr. Carlaw interjected, completely unacceptable. Mr. Rennie said it was indefensible for anyone to support Mr. Johnson as Prime Minister, adding, he's just a nasty piece of work, isn't he? Mr. Carlaw replied, I don't agree with that, no. I think that some of the things he said as a journalist were unacceptable. But there are things politicians in all parties have said which I find unacceptable. After Mr. Rennie repeated his point, Mr. Carlo told him cuttingly, there's no point being theatrical about it, Willie. I believe a Prime Minister should be judged on the job he is doing as Prime Minister. Undeterred, Mr. Rennie said, are you not embarrassed to have him as your leader when he's said these things and he's backed by these terrible people? Mr. Carlo said, I'm impressed by the commitments he has made as Prime Minister. He has delivered on a new fresh deal for Europe. He's put the union at the center of the argument. When Mr. Carlaw came to cross-examine Ms. Sturgeon, he raised problems in schools and hospitals, but said Ms. Sturgeon's priority next week would be trying to secure Indife too. He said, your priority isn't the sick kids, hospital in Edinburgh. It isn't the Queen Elizabeth. For more on this story, visit the news article link.